You know, since 1980, this has been the scene at the Circle in Georgetown. Colorful lights, festive music, the spirit of giving. Sure, you recognize that as the annual Caroling on the Circle. It's an event that doubles as a food drive in Sussex County. Chip Guy is the communications director with Sussex County Government and joins us this afternoon. This is the 36th year yes, 30, for, for the event. 36th annual event. It uh, started in the mid, uh, the mid 1980s. Sam Beard, uh, actually, uh, with his Delaware First initiative, wow, uh, launched this event along with uh, others in Kent and Newcastle counties, and uh, then Sussex County took on its its event, the Caroling on the Circle event, uh, in the following years. And uh, 36 years later, we're still going strong, and uh, in all that time, we have managed to collect better than 700,000 canned good items non-perishable food items. For I was local. going to ask you about this. this. is a food drive as well. How does that work? That's correct. Um, you know, it, it's an event that it, it's about drawing people uh, into town to, to, you know, kick off the holiday season, get right. into the holiday spirit uh, with, you know, the traditional and Spanish Christmas carols, but it also serves a, a, a bigger purpose, and that is in raising awareness and, and collecting goods uh, for local food pantries. We've got about two dozen in Sussex County. Now, this isn't just for this one night. No, it's not. Um, we um, initially years back we we did limit it really to 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 the one night, but uh, a few years back we decided because we we really wanted to up the totals as much as we could. Um, we kick it off in early November, right. and we will continue collecting until the end of December. So if you can't make the evening of caroling on the circle, there's still plenty of time afterward. You can drop okay. off canned good items anytime, uh, regular business hours, Monday through Friday at the admin building there in Georgetown. And that's not all that goes on during uh, the event? No. That's, other activities? We do. We have uh, great musical selections that evening. Uh, Kevin Short, Ed Shockley, um, you know, very uh, well-renowned on the Sussex music scene. They are there. They lead us uh, in, in, the, uh, in the musical events that evening. We have a number of middle schools. Um, we have three middle schools this year, choirs that are performing, and that helps to draw in a lot of families and you know siblings and moms and dads, grandmothers and what have you. Um, and then uh, we also have the uh, Spanish Christmas carols, which was an element that was added a few years back to, to help broaden the appeal of the event. And you know we have a very uh, strong presence of the Hispanic community in, in yeah. Georgetown and Sussex yeah. County. And, and Jimmy's going to be there. Jimmy's going to be there. Jimmy is going Whether to be there. Whether they our... like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> it's rain we or like it. <laughs> and it's rain or shine. It is rain or shine. Um, there is the chance of, of some inclement weather uh, this, uh, this Monday, but you know, Straight fingers crossed. Hall, yeah. We're still far out. It we is could. Monday, December si or 9th, rather, from 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. at the Circle in Georgetown. Sussex County's Chip Guy, thank you thank so you. much. Thank you.